Monica Dixon. I asked her to tell me something that people wouldn't know about her. She said, I tell everyone everything. I'm an open book. She loves her job. She's going to tell us a little bit about our labor of love. Operation Smile is a nonprofit organization that focuses medical attention on children born with cleft lip and palate. It was started by Bill and Kathy McGee in 1982 when they had gone to the Philippines to do some work. They were able to help many, but many were turned down and they realized that there was a need. This is how Operation Smile began. There are 200,000 children born each year with a cleft lip or palate. There's numerous reasons for this deformity, but the main reasons are genetics or nutrition. Um, to date, Operation Smile has completed 160,000 surgeries and they are involved in 50 different countries. I volunteer my time as an oper at, to Operation Smile as a speech pathologist. When I was 14, I heard a presentation on Operation Smile, and I was so touched and inspired that I committed to myself on that day that as soon as I had a skill, I would go. So in 2002, I went on my first mission to Kenya. Um, Many of the families come for many miles and hours away. Um, most of them come by foot or by bus. Many of the families come early in the morning and have to wait until late in the evening to be screened for surgery. Um, there are several stations that each patient goes through in order to see if they're gonna be a candidate for surgery. I use a translator for all of the work that I do. The screening process generally takes between two to three days, and after all the candidates have been screened, then the team gets together to decide who will be eligible for the surgery. A list is then posted and the families come back to see if they've been accepted. It's a very bittersweet day. So one family that I worked with that I really loved is this little family from Kenya. Um, these are all siblings, and they live several hours away from the hospital. The dad got a scooter and loaded his kids on the scooter, and together they made the several hour trek to the hospital. This is the family the next morning after the surgery. The families only stay in the hospital for one night and then are discharged the next morning. The patients who re receive the surgery are only given a local anesthesia and then given over-the-counter medications like Motrin or Tylenol. This is a family that lived in a rural area in Iraq. Um, our team was stationed in Jordan and the families were, were flown in to the hospital in Jordan. These little boys are twins, and they were scheduled to have a cleft palate surgery. Um, unfortunately, at the last minute, one of the little boys got sick, and they weren't able to, he wasn't able to have the surgery. I especially enjoyed working with this family because um, the dad spoke English, and they were a very grateful family. Um, whoops, that baby's upside down. One thing that I really enjoy doing is working with the mothers of the underweight babies to help the babies gain weight. Um, a lot of the babies come in and they're underweight and they're not eligible for the surgery. My most memorable experience is working with this 26-year-old girl from Morocco. She had come in and um, several years previous had had a palate surgery that had failed, and so everything that she ate would come through her nose. As I was having this information translated to me um, through the translator, um, it was as if the language barrier had been lifted and I was able to communicate with the mom and her daughter. Um, many tears were left in the room that day. So one of the reasons that I really enjoy um, my time with Operation Smile is because I feel like I'm able to help change lives. Um, I feel like I'm part of a greater cause. I'm able to see families and parents become hopeful and the kids become happy. The families that receive the surgery are not the only ones who have life-changing experiences. This little girl was from the Philippines and if I remember correctly, she did get the surgery. My life has been touched greatly by being involved in this work. My first mission brought me lots of tears and lots of guilt. I felt bad that I had so much when these families had so little. But as I continued to go on additional missions, slowly my gratitude was able, slowly my guilt was able to turn into gratitude, and my gratitude was able to turn into responsibility. I now believe that because I, um, I now believe that because my life has been changed by so many families around the world, it's now my responsibility to reach out and help 
change additional lives in the world or wherever that is that I may be. Um, if you're interested in getting more information about Operation Smile, you can go to the website that's listed above. <laughs>